Yeah, a little burnt in there. That was a tight squeeze. Can't hurt there, buddy. Wow, a lot of grass on my frame. Yeah, that's... Oof, that was a close one, bud. Dude, if it jumped up and hit the tailgate, <laughs> that would have sucked. That would have been very nice. <laughs> Alright guys, Woo! this is a spicer. We got a good one for you today. Once the freedom was popping off, you know, we gave out a bunch of turbos. This actually cost more than that project, but we wanted to do something just top notch. What's our favorite thing to do outside of racing and driving cars? It's driving RC cars, dude. Ooh. Look at this wall of live action. We have behind me the finest RC cars on the planet. These are four of our favorite type of RC cars that you can buy right now. They're the best ones you can get. And what we're going to be doing is every day, starting today, if you purchase something on cleesmcfrawlin.com, we're going to be putting one of these cars in one random order every single day until they're gone. So we have 20 days of Traxxas RC cars. We got the Big Dog X Max, which is my personal favorite. We have the XRT the Sledge. This is the fastest one. We have right out of the box, 70 miles an hour. Then we have over here, the Ultimate Desert Racer, which is a giant four wheel drive trophy truck. And then we have all the best batteries to go with them. So. All these speeds right out of the boxes, 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour, they do it and they're insane. They're all four wheel drive, they're all brushless. This is the best of the best because we want you guys to have the same RC cars as us. So the way this works is hopefully some of you go to cleatsmcfrawlin.com right now and buy some merch. And then tomorrow we pick one random order. We're gonna be calling up whoever it is, telling them, hey brother, you just want to track this RC car. We're gonna put it in their order, whether it's a t-shirt, a sticker, a hat, it could be anything you might end up with a freaking insane RC car in your order. And it's just perfect timing because we got all these cool new things on cleesmcfrawlin.com to get things fired up. Dude, look at those hour. RC cars, dude. Do not touch them, brother. Don't oh, touch them. We can have these broken in an hour. <laughs> we could destroy all these in one day. I promise you that. All right, so fresh off the press, we have 2023-2024 calendars. Dude. And these actually start right now and go all the way through 2024. So you can use it for this year and go all the way through the end of 2024. And there's just a bunch of sick photos. Oof, Dale oh, Trucks just chilling. I mean, guys, <laughs> come on, brother, you know the deal. So you don't wanna lose track of your days, get a new Cletus calendar. Oh, brand new hats. Got the Cletus Turbo hat, dude. Got that McFarlane racing hat, which is the red, white, and blue striped snapback. Your classic khaki and the gray and black, which this just came back. This is an all time good one. In the shirt category, we got some brand new ones. This goes right along with the purchase of the Rat Rod Supra. Disregard responsibilities, acquire more race cars. You know the deal. That's exactly what we do around here. All right, so this shirt I said was gonna be pre-order only, but we have a couple hundred of them. So this stupid t-shirt is back for maybe today, maybe an hour. And those of you who have been blowing up our email, you better go get this because it's not coming back for a while at least. Simple, just clean McFarland Racing 2023 t-shirt, nothing crazy, just a nice clean black tee. Next, we got the Cletus Certified Forklift Driver Burnouts, Welding, Pyrotechnics, and Drinking Beer. That's a classic. We got LS George's Safety almost as important as horsepower shirt. It's a fact right here. And our boy Jack Sand Jimmy has a fresh new Jack Sand shirt. So we're dialed in guys. Hit up pleasemcfrawlin.com. Check out all this new merch. And tomorrow we'll be calling one person who placed an order today, giving them a Traxxas for 20 days straight. So hope you guys are fired up about this Traxxas giveaway. We're fired up. Let's get to the video. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Frawlin YouTube channel. All right guys, it's bright and early race day it's about 55 degrees out here. We're ready to rip, about to warm this puppy up. You know the deal.
this yeah. morning. One O Lambda. Yeah, at idle. Everything seems pretty solid. I think we're good. Yeah, sounded really good. It's freezing out here though. <laughs> good way to start the morning. I'll take it. All right, so Zach's changing out our little fin back here. All right, guys, we ended up getting two qualifiers this morning before elimination, so we actually tried making the fin on the back a little bit smaller. And we're going to see what that does. We're just testing stuff at this point because we got some time. Uh. All right, we're out here for Q5. Did some small changes to the boat, but she'll be dialed. us down to third he's in second now so we went a 46 one he went a 45 nine and then that guy phil over there he went a 45 five i think so quite a big gap to catch him i don't know what the hell we're gonna do to try and chase him down so the way that sprint boat racing works say there's 16 boats in our class the top eight qualifiers go into eliminations all eight of us run and then the fastest four move on then all four of us run again fastest to move on and then they run the final so we got to just be the fourth fastest or better on this first round and we'll move on to the second round which i know we can do we're going to be qualified third with all the boats so we're making no changes to the boat we like how it is i'm excited i'm ready but uh we're just checking everything over and hopefully we'll be good for round one all right here we go round one dude we don't have to go crazy because we just have to be in the top four and we're well within the top four yeah so I'm gonna just try and be smooth, not pedal to the metal, but smooth. All right, tell us what your plan is here for eight cut. Kill, kill run. All right, we're in the eight cut. See if we can make it down to four. Let her rip, take your kit.
754. That should get us to the four cut. All right, so guys, we are third. So that means we made the four cut. We're on to round two. So that boat's been a 45.9 over there. That one's been a 45.5 fastest we've been is a 46 one so like we have to find some time that one we ran chill this next one if we lift we're out unless one of them screws up so because we run before them we have to go all out we don't know that you know dude i feel like we should shim the nose in a little more every time we've done it it's gotten a little better i just worry that if we put too much of the nose in the water yeah. it's gonna cause more resistance and i know but i watched that guy who went a Five, his is way in there. His is like dragging the yeah. in the front. Did you feel like it was out of control at all? No, but I feel like I, for this next one, because I'm gonna go wide open the whole one, I'd yeah. rather have a little bit more push in yeah, the, with the nose in. We can we'll do a little, little one, bit. a little bit. As long as you hold it to the floor. Yeah. I will, I will floor it, I got you. All right guys, well we decided we need to richen up the jets a little bit. The air is getting really good, it's cooling off tonight. And then we also put another shim in here because I feel like it's getting better when the nose down a little more and I don't know. I'm about to send it, so figure if I'm gonna be wide open throughout the whole run, a little bit more traction for the boat would be better. So we gotta make a Hail Mary pass here. We gotta go faster than these guys. We gotta go 45 probably. And the water is getting lower, so the course is getting harder. We're just swinging for the fence, otherwise we're gonna be out either way, so. you have confidence in the boat. I'm feeling real confident in the boat. We're going. All right, we're getting the push off now. Let's go. He said he's going full throttle the whole time. This could get spicy, folks. Point seven seven four. It's like when he clipped that corner, he might have sucked up some grass and just couldn't recover from it. That was going to be a 45 for sure. Oh, 100%. We finally took the turn at the big run, like so smooth. It just so went smooth. right through and it. Was it was so wide and a glide. Oh. And then we just brushed that bank, dude. Damn it, guys. I blew it. Is off, man. Right. If we would have got back in with traction, we were good, but we were plugged up with grass and in the intake, so that just... No point.
bueno situation. Uh, well, guys, I sent it. I did it the best I could, but I freaking clipped that bank, and that was it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for day. We'll freaking see you later.